The Iron Dome. This is an effective truck-towed multi-mission mobile air defense system developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries Defense System. It can be operated in all weather conditions including fog, dust storm, low clouds, and rain. The device is designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distances ranging from 4 to 70 kilometers and destined for an Israeli-populated area. Iron Dome was chosen by Israel's defense ministry to defend and protect Israel's civilian population on its northern and southern borders. CRAM precise guided warheads, air breathing threats, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles are among the threats that Iron Dome tracks, analyzes, and intercepts. The Iron Dome is quite expensive. Each battery or the full unit can cost over $50 million and one intercepted Tamir missile costs around $80,000. In contrast, a rocket can cost less than $1,000. Despite the high cost, it is a small price to pay for a country to defend itself, raise citizen morale, and avoid being cowed down by external powers seeking to damage it. So why did Israel choose to develop this badass air defense system? Well, let me take you back into history. During the Second Lebanon War in 2006, Hezbollah launched missiles and nearly 4,000 rockets were fired on Haifa and other northern Israeli cities, the majority of which were short-range Katyusha rockets. In the attack, approximately 44 Israeli civilians were killed and approximately 250,000 people were evacuated and moved to other areas of Israel. More than 4,000 mortars and Qasem rockets were fired into southern Israel from Gaza between 2000 and 2008. Due to the addition of 122mm Grad launchers to the Qasem's range, nearly 1 million southern Israelis came within the range. So, in February 2007, the Israeli Defense Ministry agreed to build a mobile air defense system in response to rocket attacks. In March 2009, the missile defense system was successfully evaluated. Without physically intercepting a missile or rocket, the tests were conducted. The machine successfully intercepted a range of rockets during a defense ministry test in July 2009. So this is how it led to the development of Iron Dome. In August 2009, the IAF formed a new battalion to run the Iron Dome system. In a test conducted in January 2010, several rocket bombardments resembling Qasem's and Katyusha's were successfully intercepted. In July 2010, the Iron Dome underwent its final testing. Only incoming missile threats were detected and intercepted by the system. So, how does the Iron Dome work? Well, the Iron Dome is composed of three fundamental elements, a detection and tracking radar, a battle management and a weapon control system, and a missile firing unit. It is fitted with electro-optic sensors and has multiple steering fins for high maneuverability. It has a quick reaction time and can intercept salvos. The missile can also adjust to changing threats and deal with several threats at once. Other features of the Iron Dome include a vertical launch interceptor, warhead and proximity fuse handheld launcher, and compatibility with various radars and detection systems. The system's special warhead allows it to detonate any target in the air. Iron Dome radar tracks the rocket's course after detecting and marking it. The system's BMC analyzes the threat's path and calculates an expected point of impact based on the radar data. After detecting the threat, the system starts firing its interceptor to block and detonate the rocket. Another factor that is considered is if the incoming rocket has the potential risk of hitting populated areas or vital infrastructure of Israel. On 27 March 2011, Iron Dome was declared operational and deployed near Beersheba. So how successful is the Iron Dome? For the first time on April 7, 2011, the device successfully intercepted a BM-21 Grad launched from Gaza. The Jerusalem Post announced on March 10, 2012 that the device had shot down 90% of rockets fired from Gaza that would have landed in populated areas. Official announcements claimed that it had intercepted over 400 rockets by November 2012. The Iron Dome systems had intercepted over 1,200 rockets by late October 2014. 
Today, the system has so far intercepted more than 2,000 incoming targets. Israeli officials and defense companies said that the Iron Dome has a success rate of over 90%. On 11 May 2021, more than 1,000 rockets had been fired from Gaza since the start of the Israel-Gaza conflict. The Israeli military again said that 90% of rockets that reached Israeli airspace were destroyed by Iron Dome. Now, what are the problems faced by the Iron Dome? Despite the fact that Iron Dome has been in use for a decade, Palestinian groups continue to fire rockets into Israel during times of tension. Even at the highest estimates of the success rate of Iron Dome, some can get through to inhabited areas. Some rockets, including the ones that reached Tel Aviv on 11 May, about 65 kilometers from the Gaza border, have a much longer range. A Palestinian rocket that hit a house near Tel Aviv in 2019 had a range of 120 kilometer, according to the Israeli military. On Monday, Israel had already seen rockets fired towards Jerusalem, one of which destroyed a home in a southwestern suburb, and the officials were surprised by the number of long-range rockets that had entered Tel Aviv since then. Since Iron Dome is less successful at ranges of less than 4 kilometers, short-range rockets are also a challenge, according to Michael Herzog, a former brigadier general in the Israel Defense Forces who is now a fellow at the Washington Institute. The Future of Iron Dome Israel aims to expand the range of Iron Dome's interception from the current limit of 70 km to 250 km, as well as to make it more flexible so that it can intercept rockets from two directions at the same time. In addition to their land-based deployment, Iron Dome batteries in the future will be deployed at sea on SAR-6 class corvettes, where they will protect offshore gas platforms in conjunction with Israel's Barak-8 missile system. Iron Dome is a part of a future multi-tiered missile defense system that Israel is developing, which includes Arrow 2, Arrow 3, Iron Beam, Barak-8, and David Sling. As said before, the Iron Dome systems could be fiscally and physically overwhelmed by dozens of incoming salvos. Hence, directed energy weapons are being investigated as a complement to Iron Dome and are priced for less costly defense capabilities provided both in terms of system cost and cost per shot. At the 2014 Singapore Air Show, the file unveiled its Iron Beam laser air defense system. Iron Beam is a directed energy weapon meant to complement the Iron Dome system by using a high-energy laser to destroy rockets, mortars, and other airborne threats. In December 2014, former Israeli Air Force chief and head of Boeing Israel David Ivory showed interest in the American laser weapon system. Earlier that month, the U.S. Navy revealed that the laser weapon system had been mounted on the USS Pons and locked onto and destroyed designated targets with near-instantaneous lethality, with each laser shot, shot costing less than $1. That's it from the buzz for today. We hope you've enjoyed this video and to continue to support us, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep making videos for you.